Hi, see you again. So let us continue with the circle part 2. Based on the learning outcome, we have to focus on these two. Firstly, is finding points of intersection. The point of intersection is divided become two cases, which is between the two circles, and the second one is a circle and a line. Next, we are going to find the equation of tangent and normal to a circle. Are you ready with it? Let's go. Okay, look at this example. The point of intersection. So, we must have a concept that point of intersection between two circles, maximum is only two. If two circles touching at a one point, that one is not intersection. So, by looking at this diagram, as we know that this is a two equation that's given, okay, one is the 2x minus 3 and the other one is 6x minus 3, both with no y. So, it means basically this equation is quite simple and easier to solve. So, what we have to do now is, you have to make sure where is the intersection point. So, the intersection point is between this and this. So, maybe you can label it as a S1, Y1, and this is a S2, Y2. So, in order to solve this, we will try to arrange the equation of circle. X squared plus Y squared plus 6X minus 3 equals to 0 minus and the second one 2x minus 3 equals to 0 so when you minus it what is the reason and purpose we need to minus because we can get rid of the x square plus y square at the same time these two case these two equation coincident the constant is negative 3 so it's also eliminated we only left 4x equals to 0 a linear function Therefore, we found that x equals to 0, so this one is referring to S1 and S2. Okay, this means that these two intersection point with the same x value. Okay, so from here, once you obtain the x equals to 0, please substitute back to both equation of circle. So, we can choose the either one. Okay, so if I substitute back to the 6x minus 3, so you will get that it's a 0 squared plus y squared plus 0 minus 3 equals to 0. So if you substitute back here, you also obtain the same thing. Okay, so from here you get y squared equals to 3 and y is equals to plus minus square root of 3. So from here it means that this is the values represent the y1 and y2. So we have to draw conclusion, therefore, because it is asking for points, we have to leave it in coordinate form. 0 square root of 3 and 0 negative square root of 3 are intersection points between the two circles. So this example is quite simple. So you will obtain the second situation is you will have two different x values. And you need to substitute back as well back to the equation of circle. And solve it simultaneously, automatically you can get the S1, Y1 and S2, Y2. This is finding points of intersection point. Okay, let us proceed to the next example. Intersection between the circle and line. Okay, so my dear, you look at the diagram. So there are two straight lines over there. Okay, so let's say we label this, this is L1, this is L2. Ask yourself, which one we call it intersection between the line and point, uh, between the line and circle? It must be L1, isn't it? Therefore, we have to erase the L2. So this is called intersection between the two uh, line and also the circle. Okay, you have this. As well, this is also, we call it S1, Y1, S2, Y2. So that line L2 already disappeared. Okay? Okay, so from here, the same thing, how are we going to solve it? using the same idea when you're solving the two circle. Firstly, I would like to label the equation of circle as the first equation. And I will label the linear line y equals to 5 minus 2x as the second equation. So we substitute the second one back to the first one. Okay, so you will obtain the value of x so the value of x we denote as an S1 and S2. So let us substitute it. x squared plus 
5 minus 2x squared equals to positive 10. x squared plus 25 minus 20x. So you have to be careful when you're doing the expansion. When this is wrong, it means that the x1, s2, you will obtain the wrong solution. So obviously from here, you will obtain a quadratic form. Okay, simplify it. So you will get 5x squared minus 20x plus 15 equals to 0. I know that you would like to use a calculator, isn't it? Okay, no problem for it. Okay, but sometimes actually we still can simplify it again since you know that all the ABC is equal to the common multiple of 5. So this should be x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. Okay, we can try to use our brain to think about it. X, X, 3, 1. How to obtain negative 4? Minus 3, minus 1. So it means that we can get the X is equal to 3 or X equals to 1. So it means that the S1, S2 actually is these two different values. Obviously, the position of the two intersection points is located at the different X value. Okay, so the next part, I think you know how to make it. So why don't you give it a try? Substitute these two x value back to either equation 1 or equation 2 and both it will give you the solution what is the value of y1 and y2. Give it a try. Okay, come to the last example. Example 6, determine the equation of tangent. Ah, what is called tangent? Just now it's the intersection line with the circle. So when it comes to tangent and normal, we have to understand about the concept. So tangent line is means that you must have a point. So in this case, the question says, find the equation of tangent and normal to the circle at the point. At the point, it means the point is on circumference. If the question is given you from the point, it means the point is outside of the circle. So in this case, it's on circumference and the line it must be touching because tangent line is a straight line which is touching the circle. So this is called tangent. So normal line, it means it will be perpendicular from the tangent. So this will be the normal line. And they must have the character 90 degree when they are intersect. So we can say that if the tangent line with the gradient M1, and this one, the normal line, it will be with the tangent M2. And it must satisfy M1 multiplied with M2 must be equivalent to negative 1. So we have to learn how to find out the gradient. Okay, how to find out the gradient from the point. We should start from the information that is given. So in this situation, the question, the only information given is just the equation of circle. So as we know that from the equation, we can read the coordinate of the center point because the normal line, it must pass through the center point and also touching the point P. So the center, we can read it from the equation of circle. So from here, we can do in the comparing okay, to the general form. So as we know that from here, 2G is equal to negative 8. 2F is equal to positive 6. So from here, as we know that the center point is negative G, negative F. Therefore, the center point we obtain is a negative 4, 3. Okay, so it should be positive 4, negative 3. Sorry, eh? it's positive 4, negative 3. Ah, be careful with it. Positive 4, negative 3. So from here, did you notice we already have the two points on the normal line. Therefore, we can find in the M2. So finding the M2 by using the delta y over delta x different y values over the different x values so we can find it from 1 minus negative 3 okay because of these two points and followed by 3 minus 4 
So from here we can get that it's a 4 over negative 1. So the gradient of normal line is negative 4. Automatically, the gradient of tangent it will be positive 1 over 4. So after we have the two gradient for both tangent and normal, we just have to think about what is the equation of straight line in general. So which is you must have a given point S1, Y1. So in this case, our S1, Y1 is the point P because the point P is the intersection point between the tangent and normal. So we're just taking the 3, 1 as the S1, Y1 and the M is represented by tangent and normal respectively. So let us find in the equation of tangent. So equation of tangent, you just substitute. So you get a y minus 1 equals to 1 over 4. It's a positive 1 over 4 and x minus 3. So you can try to prevent the callous mistake. You can multiply 4 to both sides. And then lastly, you just let the variable x, y at the left side and the constant at the right hand side. Or you would like to let the y as a subject, also no, no problems. Okay, it comes to the equation of normal. So using taking the 3 and 1, and the gradient is a negative 4. As usual, substitute into the equation of straight line. Lastly, you also will obtain the equation of normal easily. That's all for today.